I'm Corey Diebold. I'm from Los Angeles, California, and I came to Hair of Istanbul to get the FUA hair transplant. Um, it was very safe, very comfortable. Um, all the COVID restrictions were followed, and I had transportation covered to and from the hotel every day. Everybody was just a phone call away on the WhatsApp where I could text or ask any questions that I had, and everybody's been very nice and friendly. Um, I found Hair of Istanbul on Instagram and through some friends that recommended it to me. So on the first day of the operation, I woke up and I had breakfast here at the hotel. Then I was taken to um, the first clinic where they drew on the hairline, um, asked me my, um, how, I, how I felt about the hairline, what I wanted, my expectations, and then I went to the hospital to have the procedure performed. They started to take the grafts from, from my head, from the donor area in the back, and then I had lunch while they were harvesting them, and then they began the procedure. Uh, it was pain-free. Um, they do have to do anesthesia injections to numb your scalp. Um, that was the only minor thing that would be painful. Um, and then you're completely numb, and then the whole team works together to do the um, transplant. Uh, after that, you just come back to the hotel and rest, and um, every day after that's been comfortable. No pain, nothing. You just have to stay elevated, relax in your hotel. Today, um, I had my final wash at the um, office where they talked to me about what to do and what not to do after, my, after I get home from the transplant. Uh, and then I did a city sightseeing tour with some of the people from the company, which was great. Uh, we, we went and saw touristy stuff. Um, the main goal is just to avoid sunlight um, stay out of the sunlight as much as possible and not to get your heart rate up. So just take your time, take it easy after your transplant and everything will be great. For people who are considering hair transplant, I think it's best to do your research. Um, if there's not a lot of pictures online, then it's probably not a good clinic because any good clinic is going to take credit for their work and any customer who's happy, they're going to post pictures so you'll know. Um, so it's important to do your research, to ask a bunch of questions and then, you know, to be realistic with your expectations when you're talking to them. Um, I think I feel like that's the most important thing is to talk to the clinic about what it is you want and then ask them if they feel that they're able to give, to give you what um, results that you're wanting from the hair transplant. So if you're considering traveling to Istanbul for hair transplants or any type of procedure, um, even during the pandemic, it's, it's safe to travel here um, with this company. They pick you up from the airport, you walk out of the door nine, they're waiting for you and they transport you all over the city. So you don't have to worry about getting all over a city or not speaking the language. Um, they speak the language that, that you speak. They have all their staff speaks in different languages um, and the airport's clean, safe. Everything's great. It's very touristy friendly. So I would suggest anyone, it's just as easy to come here as it would be to fly, fly to another country. I feel like they're prepared for medical tourism and I think it's a good choice to choose this symbol.